hi students coming to the next topic that is a push down automata uh, so far you have seen so many concepts like the deterministic finite automata non deterministic finite automata context free grammar and so many concepts you have seen now let let's come into the push down automata so it is asking uh, the name itself is saying that we uh, push whenever you see in the word push means means in this we are using the concept stack so where the terms push and pop will come the push and pop terms will come uh, in the stack so in this automata uh, we are using the concept stack now let's see a push down automata is a way to implement a context free grammar in a similar way we design the deterministic finite automata for regular grammars so whatever the deterministic finite automata were that we designed for regular grammars for regular grammars we are use the non deterministic finite automata and the deterministic finite automata in the same way whatever the technique that we used for the uh, for regular grammars uh, to design the deterministic and non deterministic finite automata the push down automata is a one of the way to implement the context free grammar so nfa and dfa for regular grammars and for context free grammar one of the technique that we used is a push down automata the push down automata is a way to implement the context free grammar and nfa dfa is a way for the regular grammars now coming to here a deterministic finite automata can remember a finite amount of information the main difference between that uh, deterministic finite automata and the push down automata is whereas in deterministic finite automata it can be remembered with only the finite amount of information only it can handle finite amount of data whereas in the push down automata it can be remembered as infinite amount of information so this is the main difference this is for finite automata and pda is for infinite amount of information so basically a pda the push down automata is a finite state machine plus stack so the finite state machine constraint that is only deterministic finite automata plus stack you call it as a pda okay the basically push down automata is a finite state machine plus a stack because why it is we are using stack to store the infinite amount of data so the stack can handle the infinite amount of data means whenever the uh, data we are pushed uh, if you want to accept the stack the data has to be popped so then always after the completion of the instruction always the stack becomes empty whenever it is empty you can store more amount of data in that right so that's why we call it as an infinite amount of information can be handled by the push down automata because of the stack because of the help of the stack so pda has three components mainly three components will be there the input tape control unit and a stack with infinite size so remember this a stack with infinite size so what are the three components that push down automata consisting of input tape the input information that will be stored on the input tape that is unread data is stored on the input tape and the control unit which is controlling to transfer the data from input tape to the that uh, stack and a stack with infinite size let's see the diagram to understand these three components okay so this is the diagram you can see here the pda may or may not read input symbol so here the pda may or may not read the input symbol but it has to read the top of the stack in every transition so whatever the elements that are present in the input let us take a a b c a a like that some elements are there in input tab okay input tape so here the pda may or may not read input symbols it may or may not read the input symbols uh, it just takes the input symbol okay and read only on the top of the stack the top it doesn't read all the elements okay it doesn't read all the elements in the input tape it just takes the input and the finite control unit will be there and that element whatever that we have to read that will be placed on the stack so now the pda will read only the top of the element suppose a is pushed on to here only it reads to the top of the element suppose if a is popped another element so whatever the element that is top, uh, top of the stack that will be read okay so that will be pushed to the finite control unit or it can be popped to the finite control unit now 
uh, finally uh, first it all push the elements after that it uh, whatever the uh, input symbol is changing whenever the input symbol is changing automatically the state is going to be changed so whenever the inputs uh, input symbol changes means we need to pop the stack so finally we have to accept or reject the stack so this is a interaction now let's see uh, the main the definition of the push down automata so what exactly the push down automata that can be formally described okay so the formally the pda can be formally described as seven tuples so the seven tuples are q sigma s delta q naught i and f okay so this i'll continue in the next video that is a formal definition of the pda thank you